Good evening and welcome to COPS 94.1. Obviously, Namibia is the enigste teenmisdaad realiteitsprogram in Namibia en moendlik ook in Afrika. Like we said, the NWR marathon is around the corner and I hope I'm seeing you on the 1st of June at Gross Barman. I myself and the rest of the COPS 94.1 team will be at the NWR marathon. And so as I always say, you can see who is lekker fix. Come on, get all the information on NWR's Facebook blog. Visit their Facebook page. There will be an internet link that you can follow. You can get all the information there. Remember, you'll get prizes, goodies, and so forth and so on. We're still giving away 4,000 number of dollars to you watching right now. A keyword will pop up on the screen. Don't ask me what the keyword is. Just watch COPS 94.1. Put it in the comment section below. And who knows, we might call you, give you that voucher. Hope to see you the 1st of June at NWR. Ek gaan daar. Yes, the COPS team will be there. It's COPS 94.1. Enjoy this episode. Like we always say, it's a banger. <laughs> COPS 94.1. Cosmos and the Ventuk City Police hot on the trail of crime in our capital. Cops 94.1. In Friday, Anna Wart is on so big a bit there for it was a pie of fat in Fanan. Come on, what is here? Paki. It's a lekker kotte chicken. Flame grilled. I wore that up here, flamme here after Gebrai. And I think we can actually get the chef on board. Now, uh, I, we spoke to him about. I want to take a wild guess about six weeks ago and I asked if he was married. He said no, because I said he can cook so he can get married. I'm not going to get straight. Tell us about what is the secret of your chicken. The secret about my chicken mm -hmm. is the best sauce that is not around Namibia. The only steers mm -hmm. curry. I, 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 yeah. Only in steers, no mm. way else. And I, yeah. if you want to enjoy this big, nice mm. chicken, Mm. Come to Steers Clean Window, any Steers Namibia. Steers will give you the best chicken with a great frame taste. Mm. When I actually asked him what is his secret, I thought he would say that's me, the briar. But he's not giving the credit to the, to the herbs. Eh? The respect, yes. you can cook. Come to the show, man. 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 And uh, the Afrikaans is normally skyfies, but uh, to be frank with you, skyfies doesn't taste as well as slap chips. See you, Cops 94.1 Fridays. Please take a bite. Yeah. Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm good. What happened? Good evening, Mr. Fabian. Hello. It's a 22 year old female. Yeah. She loves, she was feeling dizzy. She's complaining of severe headache, mostly. By the frontal lobe, we did uh, baseline vitals. It was uh, 90, BP was 98 over 50, AGT of 4.4, saturation 98 on room air, yeah. pulse of 72, temperature of uh, 35.3. She is known on antidepressant medication and also anxiety. Yeah. yeah so My dear, what happened? You felt dizzy. Your blood pressure is also a bit low. Yeah. Can we reassess the blood pressure? My dear, how much fluid did you drink today? Tea, water, coffee, Fanta Sprite. You must always see that you d drink every day a lot of fluid, yeah? So what we will do is we will put up a drip with you, yeah? To give you also more fluid, is it okay? That's also where your headache coming from. Because you don't drink enough fluid, that it actually, it's like, fuel for your body, no? Yeah, we just had a young student who collapsed. She wanted to get her food, was standing in the queue, that's where she collapsed. The first responders were on scene assisting her, also on our assessment. Uh, she is a young student at the moment. It is exam time. What many students forget is to drink. And drinking fluid like water, coffee, tea, Fanta, Sprite, anything what uh, you like is very important. Drinking fluid is like fuel for your engine, for your body. And this, unfortunately, the student didn't do. She drank only one half cup a day. Students often forget drinking fluid during the exam time. So therefore, I ask the parents, please look after your children that they drink enough, 
and with that they have enough energy for their exams. Ah, so they, but they didn't manage to enter. No, they, they entered. entered. How? Here from the he broke oh. here and also the trolley is there. Oh, okay. Aha, he, he jumped where? How did he come? Yeah, because this one is a bit secure. And then, uh, how many were they? Is it, is it, is it, is it now the inside? Yeah, so I found everything. He, like, he had time to go through everything, like, mm. literally. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, there is no alarm? No. No? And there was nobody in the, in the main house? There was actually someone in the main house that mm. uh, saw the person when they were going, but they didn't really... Uh, like, uh, but notice that it was them. They went. Uh -huh. they, they went to one of my bags where they put everything, my blankets and the backpack. So now, when they when he was giving a description of what they were carrying, I noticed they were my things. Uh -huh. um, so you said uh, laptop, bag with blankets and what else? A kettle, the stove, and the iron. Yes, uh, we attended to a housebreaking. Here in uh, Venduk Ves, uh, what actually happened, it happened around right about uh, 1400 hours in the afternoon. Uh, one of the, the rooms uh, that um, a tenant is renting was broken into. Um, uh, we are suspecting that the, 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 the suspect actually may probably jumped, if not jumped the gate, he opened the gate because the small gate was not locked. So he managed to go behind, first open the iron bars and then gain entry where he stole a couple of stuff. For the tenant and um, yeah the only advice uh, to our residences here is that always just make sure that uh, uh, your, your, your gates even the small ones are locked at all times and uh, what is also strange was that uh, there was somebody in the house who saw this guy and uh, actually the guy was carrying a bunch of stuff including a bag and then he pretended to be looking for a room to rent such activities when you um, see such things please do report to the police especially if it's somebody that you do not know and the person is just hanging around in the yard Please uh, do report so that uh, we can attend to it. But yeah, the complainant will go open a case and um, for fingerprints to be taken, hopefully maybe we will uh, get something. You are for you, you are just getting a bottle. How are you brothers? Can you stand up? We search you guys. Just to search, or just take out what is in your pocket, you put it here. Search yourself, no? This chocolate is melted already, bro. <laughs> what did he do? Huh? Any knives? Oh, we are ah, not, not today, guys. We are just, uh, we are just punching. Re punching what now? Punching the first or what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's no knives. Okay, let's just chill inside. Let's not drink outside, please. Drink where we bought our alcohol. Yeah, oh, we uh, hear you, sir. We hear you, sir. Okay, thank you. Evening. How are you? Fine, we understand. There was a gentleman who was robbed and stabbed somewhere there. You didn't see anyone passing this side. Uh, we just came out now and when we saw the, the light. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's under the bridge. Do you think under the bridge? There is a terminal under the bridge. Because uh, the terminal is there, I think the two are Oh. What is Up, it now now? Yeah, we were just called, so we don't know what time it happened. Touch. Yes, where should we go? Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Where? Can you see me? Where? Okay. Uh -huh. How do we come up? How do we come up? Yeah. How do we come up? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Yes. No, I'm the one who called the police. I'll be, I'll be doing the talk. Okay, ma'am. Good evening. Ma'am, please, we will come to you. I'll be doing we will the come talk. to you. Yes. Yeah, please, sir. Please, ma'am. Okay, you can start, sir. Please, one person at a time. Yeah. Oh, evening. Oh, big boss. Yes, yes. How is the night? Ah, oh, it's good, sir. We are waiting for morning. We are, we are waiting for morning. The driver is that side. The driver is that one, but he's saying he's fine. Mr. Driver, sir, the two driver come. You, you were driving this one? Yes, sir. And say you were driving the back? Yes. Can maybe the, the ambulance the colleagues to check you guys? Me, I think I'm fine. You are fine? Yeah. Say you yeah, are you're also fine. Which side do you come? Hello, you? Wait, wait. I was coming from that side. Oh, then from there you bump this one on the side. 
Someone skipped the red robot. Hello? Yeah. Evening, how are you? Fine, how are you? Fine, fine. No more here by uh, this. Did you receive the accident of Northern Industry? Yeah, send someone Western sub the colleagues dot and the Aosia Kutako. Where is that gentleman? Say, where is the disc? No, I'm asking where is the disc? The disc was expired already. But you are driving the car on the public road, my is my brother. Bring your lenses. My license should be at home. Do you, what do you have there? I have a copy of my passport. Uh, you are from which country? I'm from Kenya. You are from, the copies were in the phone? Yeah, I have a You soft don't copy. have anything? No, I have a soft copy here. Yeah. You don't have a hard copy? No, I have a soft uh, hard copy in the office. Your, your wallet, where is your wallet? I don't have a wallet, officer. Oh. Can I check? You are, you are going where? Yeah, the way. I'll wait first. Call someone to bring your document. What can we see there? Yeah, I'll show, I'll show you my password. Okay, we are waiting for the CID ne, to come take over the scene because the other gentleman is not well. Okay, okay. Uh, and the disc for this gentleman is expired already, so uh, the colleagues want to come or issue with a ticket. Okay, okay. Driving a motor vehicle on a public road, which is and the lines of this which is expired already. Let me see. This is the passport, Mos. Yes, sir. Where is the lines? Is? Sitting there, uh, at home or mm -hmm. That license of yours is from Kenya? Yes, sir. Kenya or Tanzania? Kenya. You are Kenyan? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You also you will be charged the no driver. You are not having a driver's license ticket. Okay, let's just wait for the colleague. You wanted to go get your your, your wallet there. Yeah, it's right. You can go get. We can no wait. We will go together. All right. Colleague, can I? I want to go with this gentleman to get his wallet. His wallet. Mm -hmm. The this truck. One. Ah, this one. He had the truck. I cannot oh, go. Stay with him. Yeah, stay with him. We can walk. Kops 9.4.1 op hierdie vrijdag aan was aansienlik stil, but uh, sadly, Sergeant Aitoto with me, the majority, gender-based violence, violence in families, uh, situations where families are falling apart, and in, I think one of the cases, alcohol also a big role. Exactly, yeah. and um, the, 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 the issue uh, is that uh, it's, it's, it's becoming too much. Indeed, yeah. That, uh, the, the public should be aware that uh, there is help out there. Mm -hmm. Seek help uh, before it's too late. Um, you mm. can either call the police or if you have access to a social worker, a psychologist, mm -hmm. seek help before it's too late. It's, it's too mm. much violence, whether it's now between husband and wife, it's now mm. between mother and children and yeah, so forth. Yeah. It's just too much violence, but uh, the public should know that there's uh, help out there. Indeed, there is help. Make use of that help. Be it your community member, might be the councillor, and I must also say, uh, Vintuk City Police, they are not only there for issuing fines and arresting, they're also very much involved with, uh, and I must say thank you very much, uh, Sergeant, uh, what I think the unit is called a gender-based violence support Some, unit. Uh, a, yeah. a victim support Vic unit. Victim support unit. Yes, yes, so yes. that is not only walla walla walla, that's also we care for our fellow Namibians. Definitely, we definitely do, Francois. So mm. they, they should not hesitate to call us. We do yeah. have a division that deals wow. with that. We do the best that we can. If we notice that you need more help, we obviously just refer you to the next person for you to yeah. get help, uh, the help that you need further. And there are officers with hearts. You can take it from me. Yeah, and then we also had the situation again tonight. Uh, a person was stabbed. Uh, information that was given through either came out too late or was not precise and clear and sergeant i think a personal thing that is of big concern we don't know the most important emergency numbers yeah and, and, and it is very mm. sad hey because yeah. uh, the funny uh, thing is that francois when you ask for the numbers yeah. the person is standing in front of a city police car yeah. where the number is written but they are still not able to, to you know to say it yeah unfortunately yeah. as much as we don't feel like i will need the police one day yeah. you will need if you not will. you then yeah. the next person so it's always um 
uh, advisable that you keep our numbers at handy in any event yeah. where you need us or the next person you are able to assist uh, like yeah. for instance today uh, the house breaking that yeah. took place around uh, 1400 hours yeah. and then it was only reported at eight yeah just imagine and the person yeah. doesn't have the police numbers it's so sad in, in, so yeah. please just make sure that you have the police numbers at hand and then mm. when you need help then you know mm. exactly whom to call mm. so that you get the help that you need on time as, mm. as well and then my last thing uh, we're standing at the accident scene sergeant uh, i think one of the interesting things one of the injured said if it was not for his safety belt he would have moved most likely through the window that saved his life. That is yeah. the fortunate part. I'm, yeah. I'm actually very surprised, especially the people that came out from a sedan, yeah. a sedan vehicle, because yeah. the whole car is totally destroyed. Indeed, yeah. And uh, the, all the, the, the airbags are out. Yeah. And uh, from what to one can make out so far is the issue of speed yeah. and also the issue of skipping red traffic Indeed, the lights. Yeah. Yeah. As much as we say at night it, it's not safe, uh, um, and you don't feel safe to, 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 to stand at the traffic light yeah. until they turn green. Yeah. But it's also advisable, even if the, 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 the traffic lights are green for yeah. you, drive slowly because the next person might just come speeding. Like in Indeed, an event, yeah. what happened here, Indeed, uh, yeah. you can see speed was involved as well as the skipping of red traffic lights. The fortunate part was that actually, okay, there's somebody who sustained injuries, mm -hmm. but they are not so serious and there are no fatalities. That mm -hmm. is the fortunate Indeed, part. Yeah. These people yeah. are actually very lucky. Indeed, yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, Sergeant, for joining us tonight. And uh, COPS 94.1. Ik is Frans over Kops 94.1 hier in Windhoek. Onthou volgende week en volgende week vrijdag. Keer ons weer saam. Of moet ik sê, dan hartklop ons weer saam. Kops 94.1